Oppenheimer shows us black holes are real on this date. Welcome back to On This Date. Today's date is September 1st, 2023. It is the 244th day of the year. There are 121 days left in 2023. I'm getting all choked up thinking how the year's progressing. No, actually, I had something in my throat. Today is the 35th Friday in the 35th week and the 73rd day of summer. You got 22 days left until fall. Today is National Chicken Boy Day. Yes, it's a thing. On September 1st, National Chicken Boy Day honors the birthday of an interesting statue in California. Chicken Boy stands 22 feet tall and holds a bucket of chicken. This fiberglass statue of a boy with a chicken head can be seen along Route 66. He is named after the former 1960s Chicken Boy restaurant, also known as the Statue of Liberty of Los Angeles. Yes, <laughs> we are so proud of that. <laughs> Uh, anyway, he joined other notable characters such as Bob's Big Boy, Ronald McDonald, and Jack in the Box. Do you remember when Jack in the Box actually had the clown? You know, you go up to the drive-thru and there was the Jack in the Box clown, his head. That's what you were talking to. When I was in high school, I had a speech class and I had to write a eulogy on someone. I chose the Jack in the Box clown because they were having commercials at the time where they were blowing him up. They were changing their look, so they were getting rid of the old clown and all that. Years later, he came back, but still. All right, let's see what else September 1st has given us. 1772, the Mission San Luis Obispo is founded in San Luis Obispo, California. That wasn't my mission in seventh grade. In seventh grade at the Catholic school I went to, St. James and Redondo Beach, you had to do the mission. That was the big thing. Every seventh grade class had to do a model of their mission. They were given a mission. They had to do a model of it. I had the San Gabriel mission. And of course, I was the kid that forgot I had to do it till like the day before. In reality, my mom did it. Meanwhile, in class, you had the brainiacs, as we called them, who had movie quality models of these missions with like actual water flowing through it as a stream had a pump system and everything mine was made out of styrofoam and painted orange you know why it was painted orange it's what we found in the garage 1774 massachusetts bay colonists rise up in the bloodless powder alarm <laughs> Okay, so picture this. In 1774, things were already tense in Boston. People are going about their normal business in different neighborhoods. Now the British soldiers, taking their cues from General Thomas Gage, who basically was the boss of Massachusetts at the time, decided to swipe all of the gunpowder from the storage spot on September 1st. This, as you can imagine, got a major reaction. People aren't too happy when their explosive stash gets swiped by a government they feel is there illegally. Word gets out there might be some bloodshed pretty soon in Boston, so patriots start flooding into the Boston and Cambridge area. The drama escalates to the point where... Angry mobs start causing a ruckus. They're so worked up that even the loyalists who are still in favor of British rule and some government big shots have to make a run for it. They had to seek shelter with the British army to stay safe from the mob. The mob was going to basically kill them. In a nutshell, the powder alarm is like a spark that sets off a whole firestorm of action. You got patriots flexing their muscles, militiamen on the march, and even some folks playing a game of hide and seek with angry mobs. It's history in motion, and it was a wild ride, I imagine. In the end, no shots were fired and everything calmed down. 1894, over 400 people die in the Great Hinkley Fire, a forest fire in Hinkley, Minnesota. That sounds tragic. 1897, the Tremont Street subway in Boston opens, becoming the first underground rapid transit system in North America. 1939, J. Robert Oppenheimer and his student, Hartland Snyder, publish the Oppenheimer-Snyder model, proving for the first time in contemporary physics how black holes could develop. Basically, this is the framework in general relativity. It describes how a gravitational collapse of a massive star would create a black hole. It's very interesting stuff, but way beyond my mental capacity. 1961, TWA Flight 529 crashes shortly after takeoff from Midway Airport in Chicago, killing all 78 people on board. At the time, it was the deadliest single plane disaster in U.S. history. 1973, a 76-hour multinational rescue effort in the Celtic Sea results in the rescue of Roger Mallison and Roger Chapman. 1974, the SR-71 Blackbird sets and still holds the record for flying from New York to London in a time of just one hour and 54 minutes. 
at a speed of 1,435 miles per hour. Yes, this thing could move. 1982, the United States Air Force Space Command is founded. It would later be lumped into the whole United States Space Force, which, I mean... Okay, I, I've seen online that some of these people are excited about that when the head of a new military unit called Space Force instead of the Air Force or Navy or Army or Marines. But I just think Space Force sounds ridiculous. Now, that's just me. I've seen plenty of, I call them kids. They're 19, 20, 25 years old. They're all excited because they move from the Air Force to the Space Force and they're putting their patches on and they're all stoked about it. I don't know if I'd be stoked about it. Movies released on September 1st, 2002, The Good Girl. This was a pretty good movie. The Good Girl, Justine, is tired of her life with her lazy husband. However, one day at a discount store that she works at, she starts to fall in love with a stock boy. This is Jennifer Aniston, and this was a really cute movie. I think it's one of her better movies, actually. It wasn't terribly exciting. It wasn't over-the-top funny. It was just a nice little movie. The film was shot in just over a month all around Los Angeles. Born on September 1st, 1996, Zendaya, actress and singer who became known for starring as Rocky Blue on Disney's Shake It Up. Her second single, Watch Me, hit number nine in the U.S. Top Heat Seekers chart of 2011. I don't even know what that means. She starred as Casey Cooper in Disney's Casey Undercover. And in 2019, she began starring as the character Rue on the HBO series Euphoria. She's also been in the Spider-Man movies. She's pretty interesting. I think she's a good actress. She's got a unique look to her, too. All right, that's today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you got some information out of it. Now go out, have a great day, and be nice to each other.